Well, while we may see a few isolated storms over the next couple of days, it is going to be the heat and humidity that is going to be the big deal for us here in eastern Carolina. And then as we transition into the weekend, it's going to switch to a rain event. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still. This is what I'm tracking as we head on through our next couple of days here. Again, the heat and humidity combining, making it feel like 100 to 105 degrees. A couple of spots today we may flirt with a record high or two, but it's not going to be all that widespread. Isolated storms as we head on through the next couple days here, and those storms potentially could have some heavy downpours associated with them. And unfortunately, it looks like a pretty wet weekend is going to be shaping up for us. Uh, generally, uh, two, three, four inches of rain wouldn't be surprised with a good soaking rainfall coming our way, especially as we head on through the day on Saturday. And potential is there also for some severe weather as well. Now, this is what we're dealing with as far as the records are concerned. Greenville, Washington, Kinston, low 100s. We're not touching them for the day today. New Bern, Williamston, yeah, we'll get in that ballpark as far as those records are concerned. May fall a degree or two short of them. Uh, yesterday's high in New Bern only was three degrees below the record high. Isolated storm possible for the day today. Again, mid to upper 90s, feeling like closer to 100. Warm and muggy overnight tonight, very similar to what we are dealing with this morning. A tad bit cooler, a little bit more cloud cover around for tomorrow. Uh, still a chance of an isolated storm, especially uh, north and west of, uh, say, uh, Greenville as we go on through the afternoon hours tomorrow. Now, let's track the heat. This is what it's going to feel like to your body. Two, three, four o'clock, Washington, Greenville, Kinston, feeling like the low 100s around there, and even the mid-90s at the beaches. So it's going to make your body pretty hard to cool down. Make sure you take plenty of breaks, drink lots of water. Overnight tonight, feeling like the 70s. Again tomorrow, a degree or two, maybe even warmer, feeling like 106 in Greenville, 104 in Kinston, 103 in Washington, with a few more cloudiness, a little bit more cloud cover around. And here's part of what the action is going on this morning. We are tracking a little disturbance at the upper levels of the atmosphere that's going to ride basically right along the beaches and could touch off maybe an isolated shower late morning, early afternoon hours, and maybe a tad bit more cloud cover there. But this is the real deal that we're going to be tracking. Notice how the upper level ridge still holds place out there across Iowa, Illinois, Missouri. Not a whole lot of rainfall for that there, but you also see the storm track across the Great Lakes. That is with a cold front, and that cold front is what we're going to be expecting to pass into the area as we head on through the weekend and eventually get south of us very early next week. But here's how things set up. Again, that little disturbance out there along the waters, a little bit more cloudiness at the beaches, maybe an isolated storm. Can't completely rule out another isolated storm inland, but it should not be all that widespread. Then that front starts slipping down through Pennsylvania during the heat of the day today in Maryland, Virginia. Strong showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be possibly severe. So we'll continue to alert you to track that for us uh, if you've got friends up in the D.C. area. Those thunderstorms kind of die off overnight tonight, and then we will watch that front sag into the area as we head through later tomorrow going into Friday with, again, some heavy downpours possible in the afternoon hours on Friday. Looks like a pretty good soaking rainfall all of the Carolinas in here on Saturday. And then slowly that front presses to our south as we go through Sunday and maybe even a scattered storm lasting in through Monday before we finally get some warmer and drier air in here. So nothing more than an isolated storm or two in the next couple of days. It's the heat and humidity more so than the storms. And then we transition that as we head into the weekend with more stormy and rainy conditions around. Still muggy, but not as hot. Have yourself a good Wednesday. I'm Storm Truck 12 Meteorologist Les Still.